You need me closer? Um, you're okay. okay. I like the, you know, your background is nice. It obviously shows that you're at home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Rebecca Lord Gardner, and I am a bookbinding graduate from North Bennett in uh, 93. We is a studio that is Shepherd and Maudsley, which is our printmaking studio in West Newton, Massachusetts. Pride ourselves on the community that we have created and embraced. And one of the things that when we were in the studio, every day we would stop for lunch at 12. So even if you weren't present at the studio, but you're a member and you just wanted to be with the community, you could show up that day at noon and know that the table is filled with people. So to recreate that, like a lot of people, we've um, embraced Zoom. And so we have a Monday through Friday standing Zoom meeting. The fact that we're able to continue this community online and to be able to interact, I think has been the saving grace for, you know, for us as makers. So here is definitely a convergence of the digital world very happily meeting the analog world. I would definitely say it's all about filling up the well and you know what does that look like for you as an artist as a craftsperson as a maker it has led me to begin to rethink about how i'm approaching my work and thinking about the next body of work that i want to execute so as far as trying to figure out what to work with there are definitely piles of old pads of paper I'm like oh okay well let's see what i can do with this now I'm trying to balance looking at things as well as, um, you know, trying to make something every day, you know, whether it's small, whether it's a small drawing, but definitely trying to um, have some output. We're not sitting around like thinking, oh, what it is, what is it that I'm just going to do? I mean, you just make. You just have to do something. Yeah. You can't not make. Do you have anything else you would like to share with the community before... Um, well, just keep on making <laughs> and stay healthy. stay healthy. And I know something good will come out of this. Um, I don't know what it's going to look like. And that's, you know, as, as scary as things are, my niece reminded me that after the plague came the Renaissance and the enlightenment. <laughs> so I have to believe that as humans, something amazing is going to come out of this time. Um, we just have to, you know, get through the scary part.